Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow's up 78, Nasdaq's up 49, S&P's up 13 and a half. Let's go over to our man, Mr. Jack Leeson from MajorLeagueTrading.com, as we do each and every Thursday at 40 past the hour. Jack is back in. Oh uh, yeah, Chicago. I'm the worst. I'm the worst. I'm the worst person you guys have on. I was so inconsistent. I feel terrible. It's half the time I'm like, I got a lot on right now. But lucky for me, I'm like pretty far away from my entry, so I'm not uh, doing too much management here. But hey, your buddy Gold, who caught the bid, man? There's, there's no doubt. We had a bid out there yesterday. You know, when. We'll see where this goes. We had volume behind the move. There's no doubt. Um, and, you know, this, this dollar uh, is trying to make it again, you know. My, my take is that we're still going higher in, in that gold market, Jack, but they're not going to make it easy. Do you know what I'm yeah, saying? They, they never do. And then when they do, it's super easy. So my opinion on gold right now, if we can get above like 1313 here, uh, we're going we're gonna to continue to trend higher. We just need to crack this 1313. Uh, level here. I'd like to see it break above in the next, um, you know, hour or so. And I believe we'll probably be back up towards the 1320 level uh, come tomorrow if we can do that. But yeah, this is this is we're starting to approach some pretty important support levels. If we, uh, you know, begin losing basically the highs we broke out of, I'd be a, a little more concerned. But I, I yeah. did just get long some gold uh, futures contracts down here, so we'll we'll see if that works. But uh I mean man, so no no interest rates being raised. Is that is that the deal now? That's the deal, man. <laughs> I it's it's almost uncomprehensible, isn't it? I mean but that that that's the deal. And it's gonna be intriguing watching you know, what happened folks is that you had the the bond market not only confirmed it, it's confirming it today. The rest of these markets they kinda don't know what to do with it just yet, I think. Do you know what I mean? It's well, yeah, it was it was really interesting, like the whole the whole trade. So, we come out of the interest rate raise. I mean, we popped. We were trading in the S&P 28.24. We rotate all the way up into like 48, 28.48, 28.50, and then Powell gets off the uh, speaker booth, and then the, the bids just dropped. Right. And then the, and then the overnight session, we make a new low. Just take out anybody who had their stop below lows in the futures, and then right off the open. Here they come again, like Powell's still up there on stage speaking. So, you know, I just really see that whole move down as a big, uh, a, you know, screw you, uh, like to, to a lot of longs, you know, especially in the overnight to futures traders. Yes. But this continuation back up here today, guys, I got to say, I think the S&P is going to be breaching highs uh, tomorrow. I think we'd be taking out the high of Tuesday, and I think we'd be making our way up towards uh, 28 66 and then 2876 but i mean look at apple today it's up five bucks i know you yeah. know it's just the tech is the tech is leading uh and i want to see i want to see gold rally with it but you know for the nasdaq guys i'm looking at is it possible for me to screen share you guys ever do that or you just stick with the face um, uh, no do it do whatever yeah well, we, yeah one of the, one, we, i was gonna say one of these days whatever you're uh, doing yeah okay cool let me show you uh, i think we can we'll see. yeah you just won't we'll be able to shot yeah we're gonna we'll give it a shot. All right, see there my screen. Go. Yeah. All right, so this is uh, a sequence I have here. I'll just clean it up a bit. Um, the it, it's my high to high extension sequence right here in the Nasdaq. Yeah. So basically, the high we broke out of going back to March fourth to high, um, pulled back into its thirty eight percent retracement this morning. So I'm looking for a negative 23% profit target up here at 75.16. And, you know, the fact that we've already breached through these highs, uh, I'm really anticipating uh, that to complete fairly quickly. So I, I, you know, I like to, I look at the four indexes, like typically, I don't, I don't know if you guys ever see my screen, but this is what I look at. Um, Russell, Dow, S&P, NASDAQ, gold, and then normally this is oil. I just switched it to uh, the dollar because we were talking about it. but. The, one of the, the best things about, um, you know, trading the four indexes is you can always gauge what's the strongest market and what's the weakest market. I mean, today as a percentage change basis, uh, we have the NASDAQ's up 0.61%, but it's the only market breaching the prior day high. But Russell's actually leading on a percentage change basis. So I'll always take that into consideration when I'm specifically day trading because yes. I'm like, well, you know, if we're heading lower, what's the weakest index? Let me right. look for setups there. And, you know, that's kind of how I go about about my day. But uh, no, totally makes sense, man. I and it's going to be intriguing this S&P because, you know, what Jack is saying, folks, OK, this is a very, you know, uh, small pullback. I mean, in the aspect of 
you know, where we've just gone the last two weeks. You know, the S&P was uh, 27.26 on the 8th. And, you know, on Tuesday, we're at uh, 28.58. So the battle uh, is still laying right out here. And, you know, it, and in the battle, I mean, you, you know, you see that bar, Jack, from the 10th. The 10th, that's when the S&P went from that 29.05 um, to 27.98 in one day. Uh-huh. And, and you know what? Today kind of reminds me of that day. So... You know, as I, I normally like to buy pretty aggressive pullbacks or, you know, it, within trend. But if we go back to that day, let me find the right chart. I, I mean, there was not a single pullback. I think I counted that day back bigger than four points. So that was Monday right there, um, the 10th and the 11th, right? Yeah. Uh, this thing right here. So, you know, it was just straight up off the open. Uh, the previous, you know, the previous day's move was all down and it's like you know i'm not a big fan of trend lines but like when they're this obvious they're pretty good right so we cracked that trend line and everybody who hedges their entire books on the way down like they do with the s p futures well you got to take off those hedges and then you get that that really really big move so um yeah i, I think we got nothing but higher prices here pullbacks along the way of course right now my ideal uh entry into this trend would be a high here from the morning before we broke out. So 2821 would be my Fibonacci anchor uh, drawn to the high. And then this would be this would be a more aggressive zone on a pullback. It's 34 quarter uh, would be what I'd like to get into. And then I'm going to you know try to try to hold on to that up until 47. So that's what I got planned here today for for my trade plan. And I really want to see uh, if we can't get above 13, 13. Gold, gold, maybe you have a little bit of a leg lower. But if we can get above 13, 13, guys, I think we can uh, start scooting back up towards the end of the day. It would just be amazing to me. But, of course, like, news never makes sense to me anyway that, you know, we could have two interest rates off the table uh, raises this year. And then gold, you know, obviously has the proper reaction that everybody would assume it to be, which is higher. And then, the, and then it doesn't continue. So that would be, I, I don't uh, think that's going to happen. Jack, the, so when this happened yesterday, right, you know, gold got the bid, right? And, you know, we were talking about this a little bit earlier. And then so Tommy and I are at, at one of the trading desks, and I says, you know, man, I'm telling you, man, this thing's going to take one more hit. <laughs> it's like, because it, it, what I mean by that, right, folks, you know, we hit uh, 13 to 26, but guess what? We're at 13, 17 right now. Um, it's just how it likes to trade. You know, I, I don't know if it like it's it just it's just it's pretty wild, man. I mean, it, and, yeah, you know, I, I mean, it gives a lot of opportunity, but you got to be like that's how I like day trading. Uh, you know, you got to be able to flip the trend in the mid in the middle of it because yes. you'll have these, you know, we what was I think it was like a 20, 21 point move out of the lows in gold, which is pretty big. Oh, yeah. Relative right. range we've had. Right. And then boom, it's it's we're we're down, you know, nine off highs right now, I think, you know, might go 10 off highs. That's the halfway back. Right. So, you know. Bit it up, pull it back, stop them out, get it going again. Get Same it going thing. again. You're going to love it. Folks, you can reach Jack every trading day, MajorLeagueTrading.com. Jack, you have a great week, safe week. You stay warm, man. We look forward to speaking to you next Thursday. You too, guys. Take care. Thanks, man. Thanks, Jack. Stay right there, folks. Tommy and I are coming right back.